Coming up next, boys high school basketball on your sports leader in Lorraine, WLCS TV 20. Good evening and welcome to Lorraine High School. Tonight's non-conference basketball game between a couple of Northeast Ohio traditional powers. Yeah. Lorraine High School 9-3 hosting St. Ed's 9-1. Jay Ferguson, Bob Braskich, along with Joe Bach and Club TV 20 here to bring you all the action. And Bob... Uh, Jay, don't be surprised. Remember, you heard it from me. They're going to... St. Ed's can come out and press. Full court pressure. They forced Brush into 25 turnovers. Brush has decent guards. That's what they do this year. I'm pretty sure that's what we're going to see. Well, we very well could, but St. Ed's traditionally is a very half-court oriented team, offense and defense. Jay, they have a size advantage at every, every spot. position. Yes, They're, they range from 6'2 to 6'7. Four-year starter number one, 6'4 Grant Huffman will jump against Six foot two inch number three, Devontae Jackson for Lorraine. Ed's with the tip. Ten is Devontae Blatt, and he too is a four year starter. Huffman going to Davidson on a basketball scholarship. Number two, Montori Foster. He's a four year letterman, and he's going to Michigan State on a, a football. football scholarship. Blanton with the first two on a little drop step jump hook. And then he takes it right away. And down the lane, Faust skips it out to Huffman. Blanton for three. Cut it. Ouch. Blanton five, Lorraine nothing. Well, here's, here's the pressure. It's a box press. It's not real heat. Jackson. Well, it, it's a box press. Titans not handling it very aggressively. Zipped a one-handed pass across court, and it was taken away eventually, and down comes Huffman. Three ball from Foster, no. Rebound to Jameer Billings, number 20, the junior. Seth Wilson, 24. Aaron Whitehead, zero. And five, Deontay Benajan. They're gonna challenge the reversals. If you don't make good, strong cuts, you're gonna be playing out by the volleyball line. That's what the Titans will see. Billings reverses. Benajan in the corner. Back to Billings, back to Benajan. You've got to take it side to side. There it is. Absolutely. Three ball from Seth Wilson to start it. That's a big basket. Wilson from Jackson. We will see Jordan Jackson some tonight. Yep. He has practiced this week. Three ball from Steve Logan. If that name sounds familiar, his stepdad was on a state title team here. Billings left his feet and turned it over. And Huffman wow. all the way to the hole missed it. Missed it. Foul. Wow. Yeah, they are pressing, Jay. I, th I, th I thought it'd be a diamond or it'd be, you know, a, a man full-blown denial pressure. But, Jay, you, you remember when they had Von Rowe, uh, the kid yeah. who went up to I mean, with that huge team they had back then, they pressed. They well, pressured. The biggest thing here is that we've got to not make unforced errors. We are so used to whoever gets the rebound brings the ball that – we, if we do that, we will turn ourselves into unforced errors against this no, team. You're, you're absolutely correct. Because they will play you in transition like they yep. did right there. And we had a man not used to handling it against pressure. Second shot off the front of the rim and out of bounds. It should stay. It's going to come to Lorraine right there. That looked like it went off either Jackson uh, or Wilson. This was uh, what I was expecting. This is a 2-1-2. Two, two. Well, it's it's man-to-man, -man and they play with a deep center fielder. Okay. They played a 2-1-2 when they had Sam Clancy and Steve Logan Sr. Wilson gets the body. First foul on Chris Ringfeld, 6'7", senior. Jay, they start five seniors, and two of these, two of the St. Ed's players started as freshmen in the third. Right. Had a lot of playing time. And there's, you know, there's still a little bit of a payback they feel they owe us, and it won't come tonight, but that loss that the... Devon Grant put on him in the regional a couple of years ago. Devontae Jackson front rims. Billings, Whitehead. Come on. Ball. Nope. And back comes Logan. Logan pushes with the right hand. Billings back into the passing lane with a steal. And Benajan will handle. Whitehead tries to no. throw it up and knocked away, turned over. Foster bounces off Jackson, throws it down low, and Blanton's got another one. 
Blanton with seven of the eight. Eight three St. Ed's with 5.15 to go in the first. Devontae Jackson. Skip pass to Billings. Billings three ball. Good. Now some of that, that's great. We're making them, but. Oh, that, that's <laughs> us. That's Inspector us. Inspector Gadget with a steal. Wow. Jameer Billings with the hands of a cat burglar. <laughs> takes it away, wow. slams it off of. Huffman. I give Coach Rossitano credit for pressing them. I mean, we don't have great numbers to do that. Well, it's we got still, one more than we had last yeah, week. That's true. Aiden Brown up off back. the bench. Billings again. That's a long. Rebound tipped out. And Huffman ahead of the pack. Ooh, got missed the, the dunk. Missed again. Back up third time's oh. charm. Montori Foster. Foster never played football till this year. Played starting in the third game of the season. Jackson out of control wow. turns it over, and Foster got a football scholarship to Michigan State as a wide receiver. That'll tell you all you need to know about him as an athlete. Yep. Aiden Brown, 23, six Jay, more junior in. Did they win it this year again? I can't remember. Yeah, I think they did. No. They didn't? Somebody beat Mentor. Oh, that's right. You're right. Speaking of winning it, they have won with Coach Flannery two state titles yes. in basketball. Blanton again. That one's short. Wilson with a rebound. Looks to push. Huffman slows him down. Gives it off to Billings. Devontae Jackson. Hard cut from Wilson. And Jackson follows it into the lane. Aiden Brown hard to the hole and in. Important for Aiden to show up tonight, Jay. They've been doing, they've been running that little wrinkle in their offense very well lately. With him from the backside short corner. Three ball on the way from Logan. No. Rebound Blanton. Blanton again. Wow. Into double fit. Six, six. He's got nine. 342 to go. 12-8 Eds. He's a four-year varsity player. The Whitehead walks it across against Foster. Wilson. Interesting that they put Blanton on Wilson. Whitehead down low, nice Jackson. Pass. Nice pass from Aaron Whitehead. Devontae Jackson on the board with two. Jay, we're hanging in there, 12-10. Billings is going to take Huffman 94 feet, it looks like. Got to give him something, and right now it's been Blanton with nine of the 12. Out of bounds, knocked away from Huffman. Six players come in. Number one, Jordan Jackson. Number five, Deontay Benajan for Lorraine. And <laughs> um, for St. Ed's, everybody but Blanton. Yes. Four is Shane Mokala. 33 is Brennan Reno. That was a bomb from 23, Zach Chapman. And the other one on the floor is five, Michael Bova. And Michael Bova was very, very impressive in their win at the Euclid Showcase. Sophomore from Avon Lake. Well, they are ranked number four in the state. Number one, obviously, in Cleveland.com. No, they are not. They are. Aren't they? No, are they? Oh, yeah. Why did I? Yeah, they, they, they beat St. V's, Jay. And that was after St. V's beat Muller. So Muller. Out of bounds, Jackson saved it off Huffman as they both tried to make the same play. Jackson will inbound to Whitehead. 2.40 to go, first quarter, 12-10, Eds. They've been up the whole way. Whitehead, Brown, Wilson for three. Good. Wow, Lorraine High takes the lead. 13-12 on a pair of Wilson bombs. Wilson tried to reach in there on Mason Lurch. Yep. Confused on a switch there on a screen, Jay. Brennan Reno, 33. And Benajan comes back. 14 13 edge, two minutes to go. Wilson down the lane, swings it out to Whitehead. Extra pass, Jackson for three. Jordan Jackson, three ball. Welcome home. Wow. 16 14 Titans. Blanton against Jackson. Get a little more size on him. Now Jordan did lose 25 pounds during his illness. This is Bova and Whitehead. Oh, that's Bova, excuse me. 
23 is Chatton. Skips it out to McCullough. Bova with it up top, looking to get it inside. Mc crosses over on Benajan, but now Wilson is on Bova. 122 left. 122 in the quarter. Lanton and Jordan Jackson all the way in. Nice. That was really sweet, Buzz. Yeah. He's got 11, and we're tied at 16. All the way, 94 feet off the glass and in for Deontay Benajan. Oh, you Quickly back, McCullough, Bova, down low, up and yep. good by Chapman. Yep. Nice pass out of the trap. When you when you gamble and you don't get, good teams find Make people. You pay. <laughs> 40, Tied at 18, 48 to go. Titans spread the court. Jackson down the lane. Brown, Whitehead. I think we're gonna. I, Wilson I think with we're gonna Lynn. hold it. We're gonna hold it, Jay. I think this is an advantage, Lorraine. Here, if they, if Seth is gonna try and take Blanton, instead he'll switch sides. With 21 to go, they are trying to hold. Now he's gonna switch it up, and drop into a little bit of a zone. 14 seconds. I don't know if the Titans have recognized. 10. Jackson down the lane, out of control. Wilson tries Jump to go up. up with it. Oh! Swatted with half court. Just short. Wow. The Titans didn't recognize the zone there in the last possession. We played one in Lorraine. Good one. 18 for Lorraine, 18 for Eds. Back with more after this timeout. Ohio State is saving lives every day. This is Ohio State. We're the economic engine of the state. A major employer. Over 60,000 students are on the forefront of cancer research. An educational core of Ohio. Impacting tens of thousands daily. Our alumni organization is nearly half a million worldwide. This is Ohio State. This is Ohio State. Ohio State. Ohio State. This is the Ohio State University. We make Marines who overpower the desire to quit with the perseverance to prevail. Not for glory, but for honor. For a code that isn't written or spoken, but lived. It's what we do. It's who we are. It's the battle cry of our fighting spirit. Battles won. See all the battles Marines fight to win at Marines.com. Back here at Lorraine to set to start the second quarter, tied at 18. Devontae Jackson inbounds to Aaron Whitehead. Pressure by Eds, 33, Brennan Reno. Eds has played nine already. Lorraine, seven He's whistle. Reaching, that's right. Come on now. Freedom of movement is the buzzword. Brennan Reno with the foul, his first, second on Eds. For as aggressive a quarter as that was, Buzz, one foul for each team. Very yeah. well played. Well, well, you know, the way it started, five zip Eds, and, you know, I was afraid bad things were going to happen, and Lorraine Height didn't lose her composure, came right back, right. actually took the lead. In the backcourt to Whitehead. Reno's got him. It's one of eight seniors on the Eds roster. Titans a junior-dominated team with only three seniors. Here comes the circle, and they cut it off. They defend this very well. Corner three ball. Oh, my. Jameer Billings with six, 21-18. Wow. As good as he is defensively, what you get on offense is a bonus. No there. Back Chapman. Wilson for a grab. Up and yeah. good by Blanton. Size right there. 13 already for Blanton. Yeah, well, athletic size. I can't believe that he hasn't got something locked mm -hmm. up. He's very much in the Kipper Nichols mold. Inspector Gadget with a takeaway. Oh. And gets a rebound. Oh. Wilson, no. Oh. Hmm. Trying to do a little too much here, maybe. There's a Euro step, no, Bover with the rebound. Back to Chapman up and in. Zach Chapman with four. Chapman 6'5. And again, another one of those seniors, is he not? 
Uh, yep. Yeah, he is. Now, Jay, I'll be perfectly honest with you. Their, their half-court defense isn't as suffocating as I thought it would be. I thought they'd be a tremendous ball pressure in denial one pass away. They're not. Three, another three ball for Jameer Billings with nine. Lorraine High in the lead, 24-22. Wow. Bova, he's the only non-senior that's seen the court. Eight seniors and uh, sophomore Bova. Blanton. Oof. Wow. 15. Wow. Now, I know he's averaging a little, little bit over 17 a game. So he's about done, you're saying? Well, <laughs> it doesn't look like it. Uh, they've got three guys in that seven, well, 16 Titan, to 18 range. Titans have three between 14 and a half and 15 and a half. Billings. Yeah. He's not one of the double figure scorers, but he's got a dozen. 27 24, Lorraine. Four threes for Jameer Billings. Blanton. Rebound offensive, and Rain has it. Down low to Blanton with Jackson, skips it over, fake the three ball up top, and back to McCullough, drives, kicks out to Bova. Bova against Euclid showed in the gym range. Up top to Rain, back to Bova in the corner. Nice defense by the Titans. Travel. Whistle, travel. Nice job by Inspector Gadget there on the ball. What? Jameer Billings. Okay, here comes the first team in for Eds. Huffman number one. For Foster 22. And 12, uh, 12 is Mason Lurch. He is a junior. Jordan Jackson to inbound. In the corner, that's not where you want to get it. But they didn't trap. Jackson will walk it up against Lurch. 27-24, Lorraine. It was tied at 18 at the quarter. Jameer Billings with nine in the quarter has Lorraine on top. All their points. Whitehead, Billings, he swings it to Jackson. Jackson all the way to the hoop. Wilson, Jackson, bumped. They're gonna call and it. it's Bova, I believe. Okay. Yep. Michael Bova, number five, with the foul. I was, I was worried they were going to call Jackson for hooking with his elbow. Titans on the baseline. Double screen for Whitehead to the corner, and then they... Step to the ball. Seth Wilson curls and gets ridden to the ground. Yep. Montori Foster. Well, we said he was a football player. Well, on, that, we'll, on that out of, or any other out of bounds play, when they switch, if you set the screen, step to the ball. And that's exactly what Wilson did. Well read. Seth will go to the line. He's struggled from the line since he's been back. Yes. There you go. And it's just art because the, the release is pure. The rotation is good. It's just been getting it over the front of the rim. Seven now for Seth. Aiden Brown returns. Ah, split him. Foster with the rebound. Down the lane, Brown cuts him off. Ooh, good Back denial. up top. Just too yeah. big for Billings to yeah. handle, yeah. Zach yeah. Chapman yeah. at 6'6 six, six and strong. 28-26, Lorraine. Wilson will handle against Huffman. Gets it across. Billings. Jackson on a curl from 15. Back rims it. Get back. Montori Foster <laughs> with the rebound, and they run. Foster all the way to the hole. No, Seth Wilson comes back for the board, and he'll bring it back. Jordan Jackson. Devontae Jackson down the lane, up the wrong way. He says he got whacked. The official says you lost it. Montori Foster down the lane, kicks it back. Three ball from Lurch, no. Wilson, another board. Whistle, timeout, Lorraine. Hmm. That's a fatigue timeout yeah, that, that Coach be. Ross takes in the middle of the second quarter all the time. You know, Jay, last game we were doing, we were talking about winning state championships, and the Moeller thing came up, and, you know, they're ranked number one in the state again, and they won two. Two, two in a row. But they, they do have a loss this year. Right, they lost to Lakewood, or to uh, Akron, St. Akron, Akron, St. Vincent, Vincent, St. Mary. Well, I, I did some research. East Tech, my old high school coach, John Brodsky, John Brodsky did yeah. it. 
Um, Middletown did it three times. All with Columbus the same coach, East right? did it, yes. 72-73 for Columbus East? Yes, and Kent McKinley. Kent McKinley, right, the pups. Yeah. With uh, Dave. Uh, I never realized Middletown's domination of high school boys basketball through the 40s. 50s, and 50s to mid 60s. To me, uh, incredible. I think yep. they won 11. I can believe that. That was, of course, when you think Middletown basketball, you think about Jerry, Jerry Lucas. Lucas. Yeah, of course. But right. he wasn't just Jerry Lucas. But I was under the impression that nobody had, had, had gone three, and I, I was right. Um, so obviously, Moeller has a chance. In the big school division. Yes, we're in talking. the big school division. Well, of course, back then there were just two schools, right. you know, two divisions. Of course, Lorraine was on that list. For the very first state 1923. title, 1923. 1923, Jay. Okay, Titans are being a little careless with the ball in the lane. Foster has Ooh. it poked away by Wilson. Nice. Jackson gets it to Seth. Seth has trouble corralling it, gets it ahead to Benajan, and he gets pushed out of bounds. That's right. Mason Lurch with the foul. It's going to be the 15 foul on St. Ed's. 28-26, 2.53 to go in the half. And only one team foul on a little bit of a drought the Titans. for both teams. It was 18 all. Cut. Somebody's got a cut. There's the Tom Izzo out of bounds. <laughs> yeah. Throw it long. Whitehead controls against Foster. Wilson and Huffman. Much better ball reversal in their offense, Jackson Jay. and Blanton. Yes. The thing is, you've got to make that cut through the nail. Here's the ball screen. Ah, pick, right. and, pick and roll just wasn't there. Well, the spacing was really yeah. bad there. That's You've yeah. got to take that one more dribble if you want to do that so you have an angle. Logan returns, replacing Lurch. Wow, St. Ed's hasn't scored in a while, Jay. Right. Pretty good D down here. 2.28 to go as Huffman brings it across and gets it over Foster. Foster oh, splits a double team, takes it in. Yeah. That'll be the easiest two he gets all year. Yeah. 28 all. Jordan Jackson up the sideline. Huffman tried to pick his pocket. Wilson steps back with Ringfield. Throws oh. three. Long. Didn't need that one, maybe. Back comes Montori Foster. Ed's with it looking to take the lead. Kicks it out to Logan. Logan in, got whacked by Benajan. Deontay gets his first foul, second on the team, but it'll revolt and throws for Steve Logan, a 6'3 senior. Of course, his dad went to Cincinnati, a, played for yeah. Robert Huggins. He had, a, had a look in the NBA a little bit, didn't he? Yes, he did. Yeah. And they, they won the state championship at Ed's that year. Yes, when they he was did. A senior, and that was uh, the big three. Logan, uh, Lapore, and Clancy. Yeah, Clancy went to and on the bench. You'd, Cal. If you look down there on the bench, you'd find Pete Latkovic, who was also a starter mm -hmm. on that team. And there was a starter from O'Leary on that team, wasn't there? Uh, Jackson, if I'm not mistaken. Could be. Yes. I coached then. I didn't worry about who, who was on, where they were from. It's enough worrying about how to stop them. Benajan hooks oh, it up nice. and in. Benajan, well done. With the right hand, four for him, and we're tied at 30. Right after you said they haven't scored in a while, Ed's ran off six quick ones. Ball screen for Foster. Blanton. Logan down the baseline. Oh, yes. And a knocked okay, out. Okay, I'll take it. Nice play by. I think it's uh, going to go to Ed's. Oh, it is? I think it, that they're going to say that. Uh, Devontae, or who saved that? Whitehead was out of bounds. Yeah, I thought Aiden Brown. That was Aiden a good Brown, effort. okay. Yeah. He, I saw the official point to the baseline. Huffman to inbound. Lobs over Brown. Ringfeld, no. Rebound swatted around. Aiden Brown tosses it out to Whitehead, gets it ahead to Benajan, one on four. He's going to take it, throws it up. Oh, no. Tipped up by Jordan Jackson. Right, powered up. Back Good up. Ball. Whacked. Yeah. Good work by Jordan. 
Foul 23, Zach Chet. Oh, 24, Chris Ringfield becomes the first player in the game with two. Yeah. Coach Rossitano told me he thought Jordan might be able to play 15 minutes tonight. First shot up and good, four for Jackson. And has played well. I mean, he was hospitalized at Christmas uh, he time. Looks, he, the, he looks like a, diff a, a different young man. I mean, lost you're about right. 25 20 pounds. At least. Wow. And, uh, that was an uh, appendicitis situation, right? That's what it turned into, yes. Rebound one of two, Chapman. And back comes Blant. Boy, when he gets a full head of steam, he's going. You remember a couple of years ago, they had a kid by the name of Kipper Nichols that yes, plays it? Yes. Vera Blanton yes, reminds yes, me very much yes. of him. Same size, maybe a little bit better skill set. And Nichols is playing at Illinois. That's what kind of makes me wonder. Three ball, short. Jordan Jackson on the fly. Aiden Brown with him. 38 two on seconds. two. Euro step. No call, no layup. Oh. Good no call. Agreed. Foster. Down to 25 seconds. Let's see if they play for one. Whistle. That's okay. Wilson. It's okay. It's First on foul. him. Devontae Jackson in for Jordan Jackson for the final 23.8. Only the third team foul for Lorraine High. This is a good foul. Well, you don't like any of your... When you're only playing seven guys... But it's a first foul, let's put it that way. Logan, Huffman, and they'll play for one. Gadget's got him. Down to those telescoping 14. arms of Jameer Billings. Put it down there and leave it down there, and you'll lose it. Eight. Ball screen. Brown takes Huffman. Huffman goes by. Bottom. Ow. Aiden Brown put him down. Grant Huffman will go to the line. Aiden Brown might have got the worst of that in the eye. Huffman, one point in the ball game. Brown gets a foul, his first. Three and a half seconds to go. Grant Huffman goes to the line. He split a pair earlier. Four years starter. Yeah, going to Davidson on a full ride. Davidson, home of? Oh, geez. Um, uh, um, Seth, 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 Seth or Curry. Steph? Yeah. The Curry. One of the Currys. Steph Curry. Mm -hmm. Second ball up. And true. He's got three. Substitute. Reigns comes in replacing Logan. Three, three and a half three. seconds to go. Titans are going to first and foremost make sure that they're the only team that gets a shot. 32 31 Eds. Whitehead back to Jackson. Jackson around, three-quarter court heave off the top of the glass and no good. We've played two quarters at Lorraine. St. Ed's 32, Lorraine 31 in a good one. Back with second half action after this timeout. Hey, Luda, got a sec? Yeah, what's up? I'm really worried. One of my friends is living on the street. I know someone who can help. Who? 1-800-RUNAWAY.ORG. They help kids having a rough time at home, in school, or on the street. You can do a live chat on their site. They will help get her to safety. Thanks, Ludacris. Trust the National Runaway Switchboard. If you're having a hard time, get online or call to chat now. Opportunities present themselves every day. Opportunities that move us forward. Opportunities to serve part-time in your community. While continuing full-time careers or education to help keep our nation safe at home, and around the globe. Explore your opportunities in the Air Force Reserve.
stop texting and driving. It's not for you, for me. Back here at Lorraine High, set to start the second half of a good one. Titans trail 32-31 to St. Ed's as we get set to play. Lakewood St. Ed's will have the ball. They are in green. Four Lorraine, five Deontay Benajan, 20 Jameer Billings, three Devontae Jackson, 24 Seth Wilson, zero Aaron Whitehead on the floor. Four Ed's. Grant Huffman, number one, handles the ball. Number two is Montori Foster. Number three, Steve Logan. Huffman all the way to the hole, lays it up. No, Devontae Jackson with the rebound. And the Titans will run. Billings, that one was too long. He had 12 to lead Lorraine in the first half on four threes. Oh. Wilson takes it away after Billings got, some, got a hand on it. Benajan. Whitehead down the lane. Nice. 15 footer. Nice, got it. nice. First two of the night for Aaron. Lorraine by one. Lorraine by one as Eds comes back. Montori Foster, Grant Huffman, and Devontae Blanton are four year lettermen. Steve Logan down low to Huffman. They might want to use that because he's being guarded by. 5'11. There's another mismatch. Jackson. Oh, I thought that was the entire basketball. Jackson called for the foul, his first. Wow. Lanton will go to the line. 15 in the game, 11 of those in the first quarter. Yeah, Blanton looks good, Jay. He's 6'6". He can handle it a little bit. I don't see shoots any weakness. It. He shoots it. I see. I don't see a weakness. Thirty-four, thirty-three. Eds will go up one. Wow, deep Benajan, center fielder. Whitehead. They got us maybe playing out of our comfort zone a little bit. Blanton with the rebound. As that shot was the numbers in their favor. Logan for three. Air ball. Benajan had it taken away, but Huffman got him. I think that was one of those that if Benajan had got it back, it wouldn't have been called. Substitute quickly. Reigns in for Logan. 34-33 St. Ed's. Benajan. They just don't want Wilson to handle it, do they? Now he'll double back and get it with Blanton on him. Seth walks it up. Here comes the trap. Wilson sees it, goes nice. the other way. Jackson, oh! Billings, and that's just one too many. You had to take that. Foster all the way, gets it knocked away by Benajan, but outside to Blanton, near corner, Foster, front rim, back rim, Wilson. Wilson's done a nice job on the boards tonight. He had 11 last week at Garfield. Benajan. Nice. No. Nope. Oh, uh, had and, the lift to go yep. in. Usually when he gets the lift, yep. it goes. Blanton ahead to Huffman. Oh. That's an easy one. Up Fellas. 36-33. They guarded everything but the basket. Jackson got whacked by Ringfeld, and that's his third. And nothing worse, he had a sub at the scorer's table. Zach Chapman comes in. He had six in the first half. So it's not like it gets any easier. Wilson, 5.56 to go. 36-33, Eds. They led by one at the half. We're going to hold it a little bit here. Well, they're going to trap. Wilson. Pull up 17 footer, back rim, no, tipped around Billings. Oh, no, nope. he didn't use, know whether to bank it or glass. not. Taken away, whistle. There's another one of those where I don't think it was a foul until they, he lost the ball. And the foul's going to go on Wilson. His second. Jordan Jackson in for Devontae Jackson. Critical point, I think, right here. I Jay. agree. I agree. Ed's up by three, 532 left. I just don't think you can let them get too far ahead. This is Blanton. He's done most of the damage. There's a down screen yeah, it was for kind Chapman. Of little, Curl to Huffman. Pick for the picker. Oh. There's another. Ooh. 
Somebody got leveled on a screen right there. Rebound to Blanton, up Benigin. and in. Yeah, size again, that was Benigin. 19 really. for Blanton. Five minutes to go, third quarter, 38-33. Biggest the lead's been since the first quarter. I believe when it was 5-0. Whitehead got yeah. trapped and just couldn't physically mismatch well, there, but the, that it, ball thrown away. If you watch how off the trap, they immediately jump in the lane. Jump in the passing lane. Two on it's the like ball, two Kevin, in the lane, Kevin and one back. Lane. Yeah, two on the ball, three in the passing lanes. I mean, they immediately look to, well, to and, read. And you, you pick it up. You, you can't pick it up once you've crossed half court because now no, you, you've right. trapped yourself on three sides. Three and a half if you're this close to the sideline. Benajan reverses, takes it down. Back outside to Jordan Jackson. Titans need one here. You know, one of the things they like to do is go into that little triangle and try and get the ball in the middle to Wilson. Nothing no there. Ball. Back out to Whitehead. Down the lane. He got whacked. Okay. Good patience. I don't mind shortening the game up against Ed's J. Montori Foster with the foul. By taking some time on the offensive end. Whitehead will shoot two. Aiden Brown waiting to come in on the second throw. 38-33, Eds. Now what? Did they call this an intentional foul? The officials are going to talk it over now. I believe... It's only one of two things. It's either an intentional tee. foul or a technical yeah. on someone. Is it a T? Now the score table wants an explanation. Well, Whitehead will go to the line. Well, nobody's going crazy, so I assume it was just called an intentional foul. Okay, these are the two for the shot, Jay. Well, if it's an intentional foul, it'll be Titans ball. Yeah. Now there's yeah, a... Now he's, I am confused. Yeah, he's two, got, he has two more. It was a technical foul called on someone. Jo okay. Joe Box says he thinks it was on the... Bench. Oh, really? 38-36, Whitehead, shoot till you miss. And He's got ball four. out of bounds. This could be a seven-point so, possession. Titans get four and the ball. Whitehead's trying to go over and find out why you got to keep shooting. <laughs> Jordan Jackson will inbound. The, the, the only indication we have is that Joe thinks it was on the bench. So 38-37, Titans get four and the ball. Wow. Whitehead against Foster. Whitehead down the lane, kicks it out to Brown outside the Billings. Jackson and Huffman, Paro number ones. Jordan down the lane, kicks it out to Wilson, spins off Blanton, pull up 12-footer, good. Nice. Wilson with nine, and the Titans get six in that possession, well, go up 39-38. Exactly. I, I marked it down, 4-15. Yeah. Three ball, no, Wilson taps it to Jackson. Come Ahead on. to Wilson. That's a foul. Takes a lick and keeps oh on kicking. Come on. Wilson with 11. He, I thought he got fouled. Reigns. Good back, back cut guy. to Foster. Nice job by Billings. Very nice job. Huffman. They've shut him down tonight. Other than three foul shots. Jackson knocked it away. Out of bounds. Tried to enter it to Chapman. Whistle, timeout, St. Ed's. Let's see what he gets. 38. It's going to be a full timeout, Buzz. Oh, yeah. And, uh, you know, Lorraine uh, Sp Sports Hall of uh, Fame Steak Fries coming up um, Wednesday the 15th. Wait a minute. That's already happened. No. 15th of uh, February. Oh. March. Okay. In fact, it's March 5th. Okay. Lorraine yeah. Sports Hall of Fame will have their annual fundraiser steak fry. I'm sorry. Uh, oh, on Sunday, me. March 8th. <laughs> March 8th from 4 to 7 at the Amherst Eagles, located on Milan Avenue 
in Amherst. Dinner's $25 a ticket. All the steak, potato salad, uh, all the rolls, everything else, and uh, $5 of that. Uh, is the ticket going to a 50-50 raffle? Basket raffles will also be held. The athletic department has tickets for anyone that's interested, so I assume that would be contact Brian Corey somehow. Well, Titans get eight in a row there, Buzz. Yeah, and I, I've, I've written that down. That was at 415. It was 30. And those four f f uh, free throws brought us to 38-37, only down by one. I mean, that's uh, 415 remaining in the third quarter may be a key moment in this game. And then we get back-to-backs from uh, Wilson, yes. and we're up three. Blanton off the inbound plate has three. Ouch. He's got 22 now. And it's tied at 41. 2-2-1 two, two, pressure. White hit against Reigns. Jackson across against Foster. Billings for three. Short-armed oh. it. Off the rim, and Foster has the rebound. Mike D'Antoni's going to love Montori Foster. He goes yeah. and gets it. Three ball there for Zach Chapman, who's got nine. And six quick after the timeout. Eds by three. Jordan Jackson. Seth Wilson. Double teamed, Aiden Brown in the short corner, double teamed. He has it knocked away, but Chapman got arm. Maybe a bit of a bailout call there the Titans needed. Yes. Devontae Jackson into the lineup for Jameer Billings. Is that their fifth or sixth? That's five on them. Okay, that's, that's a good thing. Jackson looks, Jordan Jackson it is, and throws it to Reigns. Up and in. You know, Buzz, there was the soccer throw in. Don't yeah. put it over well, your head. Right. That's eight quick ones since the timeout. Back up by five. Whistle. Whistle. Let's see what it is. Foul was 23, Chapman. Now, he held up two fingers. I don't know. I think what the official in his mind was that Jackson was going to shoot it till he got fouled. The call on the other two. However this is decided, it's at least decided the right way, Bob. And sixth foul on Eds, which is a good thing with 218 left in the third so quarter. So Devontae Jackson will go to the line for two throws as he was deemed fouled in the act of shooting. There's wow. one. When, you're going, when, when you need a point, that's the place to get it. I mean, we were down by five just prior to that shot. Mm -hmm. After up by three, they right, got right. eight in a row. And Devontae stops the bleeding with a pair of throws. Six of six in the quarter for the Titans. Two ten to go. Montori Foster and Aaron Whitehead. Two-man game here. Yeah. Pick and roll. And they kick it out to... Grant Huffman, who curls, running one-hander. Seth Wilson has a board. Well, he, he hasn't been that impressive tonight, Jay. No. He's not as athletic as you, which is why he's at Davidson and not Ohio State. Layup up and in by Jordan Jackson, who has six. 46-45 adds right where we were at the half. Foster forces his way down the lane. Whitehead held him on the baseline. It's going to go. They called it on Jackson. Jackson, his second, 46-45. Foster's now, really quick off the. You know, yes, yes, just yes. Explosive drive last, step. Explosive drive step. The last time we ran anything, they got a three in the corner off of a off of a double screen. They didn't run that play this time. They looked for the post up. Whistle, offensive oh, yeah. foul as Foster shoved Benajan. Three fouls on Montori Foster. Even more, that's one of the possible one and ones in the game that's taken up. You know, anymore with the double bonus, you only get to shoot three one and ones. It's always better to shoot two. Down low to Jackson. Cut off, stepped on the end line. There was just nowhere to go there. 
But Aiden Brown had already cut to the basket, so he didn't have an outlet. Nobody got in that corner. Billings in for Wilson for a blow. Minute 18 to go. 46-45. I would tell Seth not to get comfortable. This is Bova. Eds has shortened up their bench a little bit in the second half, haven't they? Yes. Blanton. He's been the difference. He's got 22. And that was off the leg of a Titan. So it'll stay with Eds. Let's see if they run this for Devontae Blatton. There it is. Nice, nice drop, move. <laughs> Rebound knocked around. Up, no. Rebound again. That's good foul by somebody. As Chapman foul given to Aiden Brown, 23. Zach Chapman will go to the line. He has nine in the game, three twos and one three. Yeah, he's been a plus off the bench for them. First one up and in. He's in double figures with 10. Huffman back quickly for Foster. Whitehead will come back for Lorraine on him. For Jackson, that's Jordan Jackson. 54 seconds to go, third quarter. Eds by two. Make it three. Zach Chapman with 11. Hmm. Chapman and Blanton, the two bigs, have given. There's a Don't get one, trapped. two, two. That's Skip it. pass to Whitehead. They scramble. They want another possession, and yeah. they're going to get. Whitehead three ball, short. Blanton a rebound. 33 oh. seconds. Back to Blanton. Yeah, they, they got us to take a quick one there. They baited us into that shot. It's not all about stealing the ball. You press to take teams out of their comfort level, and That's the rain right. got out of sorts there. Here's their little delay. We've seen it a million times, yeah. made famous by the John Thompson mm -hmm. Georgetown teams. And it, it takes weak side help away, Jay. Right. Huffman will back it out with eight seconds to go against Whitehead. He's got seven inches of a height advantage. Three seconds. Instead, he kicks to the corner. Reigns. Oh, at the buzzer. Brennan Reigns with seven in the game, five in the corner. It Ed's leads 51-45. Back with more after this timeout. I started mentoring and my mentee, Dontre, four years ago. I always thought about doing it. It always seemed like a good idea. We were both nervous when we first met, but we kind of, everything kind of fell into place. Mentoring is important to anyone that's pretty fortunate in life to have a little bit of time to pass on that knowledge. Etienne's a very close friend. I look at him as a brother and a father figure. He taught me to just focus on the big picture because I would like to give back just like Etienne gave back to me. Be someone who matters to someone who matters. Back here at Lorraine High, it is 51-45 as St. Ed's figure, finished that quarter strong to take a six-point lead, which has been their biggest since the first quarter. Jordan Jackson triple teamed in the backcourt, gets it across. Ooh. Seth Wilson in the corner, whistle. Yeah, it's Let's see what's a call here. He's they call, call it charge. He's going to call it on he Seth. He did. Yeah. Three on Seth. Grant Huffman stepped in. That's one you don't get in college because he was way inside the arc. 51-45, St. Ed's. Titans need baskets soon because Ed's can spread you out and they can shoot fouls. They've missed one of 10 free throws tonight. Really? Grant Huffman missed it in the first half. Bova. Gets a ball screen from Chapman. They skip it to Huffman, who looked for Chapman rolling. Blanton cuts through. Chapman. Reigns, who hit the three at the end of the quarter that might be the dagger. Huffman for three. 
I, he hadn't taken Wow, his shot doesn't look that good either. Whistle. Wow. Dan Potofsky has a foul. Jordan Jackson is first. The only player in, in real trouble are Chris Ringfeld and for Eds and Seth Wilson for Lorraine, a pair of number 24s. Huffman inside operating against Jackson. Whistle, that's going to be a jump ball. It'll stay with Eds, but that's as good as Devontae Jackson can do that close to the basket against 6'6". Six, six. Chapman really gave Jordan Jackson a shot on the cut there. Bova against Whitehead. Reigns in Benajan. This is Huffman with Devontae Jackson. Planton and Wilson. Reigns gets a ball screen, gets it over to Chapman. Bova. They look to trap Ooh. Bova. I think it was just on the scramble. Benajan and Reigns. This is a little, I think this is a sign of respect. But Huffman takes it in, skips it out, reigns another three ball, back rims that one. Chapman over yeah, Jackson. Size. Yeah, 6'5", he's 220. And he just was straight up. I know you, you rebound from the back row. People expect a foul. There's a whistle. Jack uh, Wilson got pushed out of bounds. 23 Chapman's no. bailed out a little bit there as there was nowhere to go. Seth will go to the line for one in the bonus. Wilson or, uh, Brown's coming in for the free throw shooter. Titans down eight. These one more. These two one and ones coming up here are huge. First one up, and he got it. He'll get the bonus. You know, you know, Jay, they're tough to come back on because, like you said, as you said, you know, they, they make free throws, and they handle the basketball well, make cuts, strong cuts, and first open man gets the gets the ball down there. I mean, they, they, they just don't make mistakes. Wilson with 13. Titans 8 of 8 in the second half after 2 of 4 in the first half. Seth has how many fouls, Jay? Three fouls. 53-47. Titans need Aiden Brown on the floor to combat some of this size. Now they need him to get some rebounds. They need Seth on the floor to score the ball. Right. High post, handoff to Huffman yes. with the two-man game. Dropped it off to Blanton. Gets it inside. Chapman missed it, but he'll get two throws. Yeah. Extra pass that made Diagonal there. cut. Whitehead going to get that foul. That was just really it, well done, fundamentally. It, it, it was, and, and and the cutter who's at the, at the line, Chapman, I mean, he read it because his man went to help, and he made that diagonal cut from the weak and, side. And trusted yeah, and Planton it, to make the extra pass. Exactly. Jameer Billings in for Deontay well Benajan. Second throw up and good. Wow. Chapman's got nine points in the half, 15 in the game. Quite honestly, I've seen Ed's back. Leave your feet to pass. Bad things happen, and that's what happened there. Travel? Oh, whistle. Yeah, they got it. Okay. Well, we're at a critical junction or juncture right here, Jay. I mean, down by eight, we have to get some baskets. Where are they going to come from? That's the question. Titans have struggled to put the ball in the hoop the second half. Honestly, they've scored 16 points, and eight of them have been on the foul line. Whitehead pull up 15-footer. No. Huffman had it knocked away, but well, I, I, you controls. Know, I, I think the right people shooting the three ball is fine, and, and Whitehead's the right person, one of them. Blanton against Jackson. Reigns against Whitehead, 5-10 to go. Titans down eight. This is the lineup Coach Flannery's most comfortable with, you can tell. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Bova. He's going to be a real good player for them. 6-1, mm, two. Sophomore. And I would say that maybe instead of one of the fouls on Jackson, Reaching around his third. 6'1 sophomore, Jay, you're right. 
I would say he'd rather Montori Foster than one of either Bova or Reigns. And Foster comes in for Reigns. Bova's going to go to the line. Seth Wilson back for Whitehead. Well, he likes Bova because he's a good defender, head on the ball, side to side, very well, doesn't turn it over. First and you haven't seen basketball. it, but boy, can he light it up. <laughs> he's got deep, wow. deep range. Yeah, that brings us, uh, gives us a moment to talk about uh, Cleveland Clinic Sports Health Sports Medicine Team. It offers expert diagnosis and treatment for athletes of all abilities and ages. Call 877-440-TEAM. 877-440-TEAM. Or visit sports, sportshealth.org. Uh, sports dash health.org to learn more that's cleveland clinic sports health proud medical provider for lorraine high school student athletes well bob it's it's getting down to crunch time here as yeah, st ed says yeah effectively taken minutes off the game and the titans inability to score has allowed that to happen yeah. 55 well, 47 as they break yeah, the huddle, yeah, but yeah. under five. Yeah, for, for us to, you know, we really have to shoot the three ball well. We're not going to get anything off of our defense against them. They handle it and, 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 and cut and run their offense too well. So, I mean, we really got to shoot the three ball uh, against a team like St. Ed's. And, and, and we've got some really nice three-point shooters. I mean, I really like Whitehead. We need uh, one of the Jacksons Seth, or of course. Seth in this and, lineup to get you know, you know, we've still seen, going. We've seen Jordan Jackson shoot it well from behind the arc. Bova's first point. He'll get the bonus. Looking to make it a 10-point lead. Biggest of the night for St. Ed's. No. Rebound Aiden Brown. Seth Wilson with it. Jordan Jackson will handle it. Well, Jackson, Bova waits for him. Aiden Brown comes out. Jackson turns down the screen, skips it, and they call a charge. Ouch. Jackson left his feet, and Montori Foster was there. They're too good for you to play, you know, right, off right. your you, feet. You, right, exactly. You can't leave your no, feet against this no, team. No. 56-47, 4.38 to go. You know, I'll bet they're single-digit turnovers in this game oh, as I would far, Jay. Very much agree. Foster, Hoffman. There's one right there. there. Yes. Off of Chapman and out of bounds. You know, Ringfield was pretty effective when I saw them at Euclid against a team from Pennsylvania. He got an early foul trouble and hadn't even been a factor. But on the other hand, Chapman comes off the bench and has got 15. You know, and, and Huffman hasn't been a factor either. Well, he hadn't been a factor scoring. He's been very stabilizing. Yeah. Whistle and Jackson got whacked in the head there. And there, you know, there it is. That's four they, on Chapman. They have a couple of pretty good rim protectors. <laughs> I mean, they well, really do. There's just, you know, they, they collapse so well yeah. that there's nothing there. Jordan Jackson with six. First one long. Mm. Trying to come back. You got to score with the clock stop. 413 to go. Titans trail by nine. Second one long Ouch. as well. Aiden Brown Aiden. tipped it up Aiden, again. Yes, Aiden Brown. That, that was huge. <laughs> we come back. You'll huge. remember that one. 56-49. Four minutes to go. Down the lane. Blanton out to Foster. Now, the other thing that plays into this is Eds has been in a lot of these type of games. Yes, they have. Their schedule and is that's brutal. That's why, why we play them, quite honestly. Chapman on the ball reversal. Back to a nine-point lead. You play teams like this to get ready for close games. The, the LEL is much more of a hurry-up style. Huffman knocked it out of bounds. Intended for Whitehead in the corner with three and a half to go. Out of bounds. Hash mark to the near side. Aaron Whitehead will inbound it. But, I, you know, I'm appreciating their offensive execution more and more as the game unfolds. Whitehead at the top. Jackson on the wing. Fakes it, puts it on the court floor against Bova. And Brown in the corner. 
Gadget. Yeah. No. Jad Jordan Jackson a rebound. Jump hook. Nothing he's there. Fouled. Jameer Billings saves it off the hip of Blanton. It'll stay with Lorraine. Not an easy game to officiate, Jay. And they, they've done a pretty good job. They're letting them play. One of the police officers wants somebody. It's something wiped up, removed. I think it's a, I think a it's vociferous a fan. Yep. That I can hear from here with a headset on. Somebody <laughs> was somebody was welcome to leave early. Jordan Jackson trouble getting it in. Good. Aiden Brown off the dribble. Aaron Whitehead, 3.05 to go. Whitehead, Wilson, three ball, short. Whitehead and Foster went for the rebound. Foster controlled. Bova. I think Eds is done shooting jump shots. Chapman. Bova. Yeah, I that think bad you're match right. up here. Yeah. Down the lane, Huffman well. on the floor. Oh, they called it on Billings, his second. It's two shots regardless. Grant Huffman goes to the line. Five points in the game, three of four at the line. First one up and through. Yeah. Deontay Benajan back. Sacrifice rebounding for shooting here. Brown goes out. Two through for Huffman. He's got seven. Reigns back, replacing Bova. Experienced senior in replacing sophomore. Again, defense for offense. 2-2-1, two, two, press to eat time. Whitehead, Jackson. Gets it over to, uh, to Whitehead. Trapped up to Jackson. Benajan. Jackson. Whitehead throws three. No. Nobody rebound but Foster. Yep, down to 210. 11 point lead. This one doesn't look like it's going to come out in our favor unless things turn around in a hurry. Foster and Billings. Well, they're not going to shoot you back into the game. Off Wilson knocked it off the foot of Blanton and out of bounds. In a rare turnover. I mean, you, you know, to come back like this, you need somebody to turn. You have to be able to turn somebody over and right and and, and have them shoot you back into the game. Also, St. Ed's is not going to do that. And that's what you can count on in the LEL. Yes, 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 <laughs> is yes. that you're never you're never out of it, whether you're up 20 or down 20. Wilson pushes off, fades away, up no. Blanton with another rebound. He's got a bunch. And he can bring it. There's nowhere to go unless he can go all the way. He goes to the ground. Chapman forces his way in, blocked by ja Jordan Jackson, hooked ahead, and Benajan with a layup. Timeout, Lorraine. One Minute and a half, down 31. nine. Yeah, I want to remind everybody again, Jay, uh, you know, Cleveland Clinic Sports Health, they really do understand athletes. And whether you've been injured or want to improve your performance, they have a team of sports medicine experts for all of your needs. So call 877-440-TAM. 877-440-TAM. This looks like somebody pulled a fire alarm, Bob, as people are well, filing out of here with 91 seconds to go. Jay, we have a pretty good crowd here tonight. There was a Very couple good. of empty seats, but you're, you're good crowd. The parking lot was full. Unless things turn around, this will be the third loss in a row yeah, for and I, I can't remember the last time. Jay, how, how far do you have to go back for three consecutive losses? Of course, this is a... Tough, you know. We, well, we talked about it. Cleveland Heights, Garfield Heights. The number Cleveland one Central. team, and the number one team in Division We're, Two, the number uh, one, one team, team in Division One, all within and then a, within a week. Garfield yeah. Heights in between, and Cleveland Central Catholic and Cleveland up. Heights prior to it. Yeah, I'm looking forward to Tuesday night when I get the opportunity to work with the uh, Cavs play-by-play -play guy, Tim Alcorn. Tim Alcorn will be here in the gym. And Sweet. As the gauntlet continues for Lorraine now. Titans are tied atop the LEL with Garfield Heights, who just beat yeah. them. Uh, uh, Cleveland Heights absorbed a, a, an unusual loss to, to, to Bedford. Bedford. Right. Blanton gets it back to Reigns, back to Blanton. Well, you're going to have to He's 6'6", 
and can handle it. I, I just don't understand why this is not a, somebody's missing the boat. I'll be calling BG tonight. Oh, I definitely think, definitely think he could play Mac ball, Jay. There's no question. I think he's a steal for a Mac team, unless yeah. he's got something that I don't know about. Blanton. Well, there's a minute left. There's a foul. Could have done that about 20 seconds ago. Billings. Line goes Blanton. Blanton had 15 in the first half. He's had added seven to that for 22. 11 of those came in the first quarter. And remains perfect at the line. As we said, the Eagles have missed one free throw. That one's good. Oh, two, excuse yeah, me, Boba two. missed a two back end. I was going to say, and, and it would be Grant Huffman, who I would expect would be their best free throw shooter. So from the time of the technical, Bob, this has been all St. Ed's. Yeah, it sure has. Seth Wilson, front rim, no. Foster. Billings grabs him for his fourth. You know, the spread here is not indicative, Jay, of the good comp competition we had during the game. We really did. Agreed. And the spread here is, you know, it's 11 now with 40 seconds left. And we, we have to follow. They're going to make a few more free throws. Well, they're going to bring the walk-ons in. He's in the, the <laughs> 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 They'll probably make a few more free throws. So the, the final is going to look a lot less competitive than it really was. Well, this was, a, this was a good test for the Titans. And I'll tell you what, I was at Garfield Heights last week. I was at Euclid the week before. And this performance has been light years better than those two for Lorraine, even though it's going to end up in a less than favorable yeah. result. 64-51. Jordan Jackson, long three off the heel. Rebound to number four, McCullough. And he'll dribble it across and hold it, I'm sure. Well, he'll pass it over to Skinner. Back to McCullough with 20 seconds to go. Making their way over, handing it off. But this one's done, 64 for St. Yeah. Ed's, 51 for Lorraine, and it was 32 to 20 in the second half. Right. There's the difference. And Titans had trouble scoring with one, two, three, four, six baskets in the second half. Not going to get okay. it done. Well, how many baskets do we have in the fourth quarter, Jay? Um, off the top of my head, two. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, for, again, they're good. We're good. But, but they're, they're a very good team. They execute very well. Defensively, they're very sound. They didn't hustle us up the way I thought they would try to. But, I mean, they're effective. They don't, they don't miss assignments defensively. And on the offensive end, they just execute so, so very well. Uh, good size inside, good rim protectors, 6'6", six, 6'7", six, 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 off the bench. Uh, you know, first open man always gets the basketball on the offensive end, so y you can't really turn them over very easily, and they make free throws. They're just a quality team. But the score, again, was not indicative of how really competitive this game was. I, I, I thought Lorraine, Lorraine had, a, had a very good effort tonight. Well, for uh, St. Ed's, I mean, they were led by... The two big guys, Devontae Blanton with 24, Zach Chapman with 17. There's 41 of the 64. Um, the yeah. other guys, Chip, you know, the Huffman, the Davidson recruit, seven, Montori Foster, six. And, you know, let that be a lesson to you. You know, there's a guy with a Division One scholarship that scores seven, seven but <laughs> his team won. He's yeah. walking out of the gym happy, right. and then nobody calling up tomorrow to take away his scholarship. Right, exactly. So it's not just about points. He played a very good floor game. For Lorraine, in double figures, Jameer Billings had four threes in the first half, didn't score in the second half, 12 points. Seth Wilson with 13, he had uh, seven in the first, six in the second. Beyond that, Devontae Jackson, Aiden Brown each had four, and half a dozen from Whitehead, Jordan Jackson, Deontay Benajan. 
lots of good things to take away, including yeah. a Jordan Jackson sighting. Buzz. Right, right, no doubt about it. Jay, who do you have Tuesday night? Cleveland Tuesday Central night, Catholic? Cleveland Central Catholic. They, they, they are good. They're nine and three, I believe. They're uh, very good, and the gauntlet continues. Yeah, it, so the wow, Titans what a rough stretch. Nine and four, still a, you know tied atop the LEL. And we'll be back on Tuesday. But until then, for Club TV 20, for my good friend Joe Bach, for Bob Braskett, this is Jay Ferguson reminding you that it is a great time to be a Titan. This has been a production of Lorraine City Schools TV 20 WLCS.